Hi foodies, come on into Jenny's walk. Highly requested video here, chicken curry with aloo. Come on in, let's get started. Foodies, here is my chicken that I already give a wash and cut and drain it up really nicely. So to make this lovely chicken curry, according to that number one chef in India, all this is marinated with is turmeric, turmeric or haldi powder. But you know, I changed things up a little bit, but I'm keeping to the recipe. I'm going to just add some ginger garlic paste because I'm, I'm an islander, I'm an island girl. And you know, we like our food highly seasoned with green herbs. So it's kind of difficult for me not to do anything like that. But I'm trying my best to stick to this recipe to make this lovely, highly requested video for my followers, my audience. I did a lot of research and there's many different types of chicken curry. And I didn't even know which one to choose from. So let's marinate this and put this in the fridge for overnight. So in here I have yogurt. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna beat your yogurt and let it get really creamy and nice. So when you add it into your chicken and you start cooking, it will not get like curdled. And in here I have some fried onions. So we're gonna add the fried onions. So I am making a lovely one from Kerala, Southern India. So you remember our chicken that we only marinate with some uh, turmeric. Here you go, turmeric, and I just add some ginger garlic paste. So we just wanna mix this now. We'll just leave it on, set it on the side. This don't need no marinated again. And I've noticed that they add aloo. So I'm gonna put in two aloo into this. Here I have some cooking mustard oil. And in here I have my clove, cardamom, some cumin seed, and cinnamon. Okay, this looks nice. So now we're going to add a whole onion. And to cook that onion, we're going to add some salt. So it's going to help that onion cook for like five minutes until it gets a beautiful color. Okay, so this looks marvelous. So now, lovely brown colors in the ends of the onion. We want to add in some ginger garlic paste. Give that a good mix. And in here I have one tablespoonful of coconut flakes. We're gonna close that in very nicely in there. We're gonna add a whole strip of curry to release its lovely oils and flavors and this lovely dish that we make in here today. Chicken curry. So let that cook there for a good minute. It's marvelous and the kitchen smells lovely so we're going to raise that heat up and we're going to add all that chicken one ripened tomato you're going to give that a good little chop we're going to let this fry and take all that lovely flavor mix it well to combine raise the heat on high we're going to let this cook until it releases all that lovely water the fresh water as you would say. So that lid on and give it five minutes. Okay foodies, let's take a look and see what's going on now. Okay, so that looks marvelous. It's fine, really beautiful. You see all that liquid is in there. Marvelous. So this is your chicken. So we're making chicken curry. So this is a point now where you're going to add all your curry spices that you're going to flavor up this meat with. So in here I have coriander powder. We're going to add some of that. I have here seven different spices that I blend, that I roasted, and as we roast or parch, as you would say, and you powdered it. In goes that. In goes a little hint of turmeric again. There you go, haldi. And we're gonna add some red chili powder. Here is my danyan or coriander leaves, and some scallion. Now remember we add salt, so we have to be checking out to see how that salt is. So we're gonna leave this open and we're gonna fry this up, let this continue cooking until that water burns out and this start to fry. There you go. Kitchen smells marvelous already. Let's take a look now. So everything seems to be fried really nicely. As you can see, there's no liquid in there. So now we're going to add, this is a chili, a green chili. So just slip it down the middle and just cut it there in two pieces. That looks marvelous. And here I have some hing. It's gonna give a lovely flavor. Yes, it smells bad, but it gives you a beautiful flavor in there. So in the same bowl with boiling water that I mixed 
the chicken in, I'm going to add that water to continue the process of cooking. And here I have my coconut milk. I'm going to add some more hot water to the coconut milk. And we're going to give that a good mix to get all that coconut milk together. And we're going to pour our coconut milk in. Lovely chicken curry here from Jenny's Walk. <laughs> and for the islands, for my Guyanese brothers and sisters and the Trinidad brothers and sisters, Jamaican brothers and sisters, big controversy over the name of this the, this dish, chicken curry, curry chicken. My dear foodies, there's so many different curry dishes. Let's take a look now. Okay, that looks beautiful. So now we're going to turn that heat off. We're going to drizzle some danyan leaf or coriander leaf. And we're going to squeeze a little bit of lemon juice, fresh squeezed lemon juice, because you know, with coconut milk, it's going to give you a bit of a sweet, sweet taste. And sprinkle a little bit of garam masala, just a little hint to infuse. The heat is off. There you go, that looks marvelous. And we're going to put that lid back on and we're going to open this in five minutes to do a beautiful plating. Lovely chicken curry here, highly requested video from Jenny's Walk. So there you go, foodies, my highly requested video, chicken curry with aloo cooked with coconut milk. Quick and easy, delicious, give it a try. So help me, my dear foodies, I researched this well, this recipe very well for you all. And let me know how you make yours. Now, this is a Bombay Chef recipe. Southern style chicken curry from Jenny's Walk. Jenny's Walk, always bringing great flavors to the table. So don't forget to like and share this lovely vids with your friends and family. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Happy cooking from my kitchen to your kitchen.